Hey everyone, welcome to After Hours here at Linda's Electric Quilters. Um, thank you so much for joining me this evening here um, at Linda's Electric Quilters. I've said that already. It's been a day, honestly. It has been a day. Super busy, um, which is a good, good problem to have. Um, but as you can see, I don't have my normal co-host with me. Um, and this kind of hurts my feelings because I'm just not used to having just to talk to a camera. But I have worked on that, I have fixed that, and luckily someone has come through for me and I'm super excited. So I want to bring in Summer, come on in, cousin. For those of you who don't know, Summer is my cousin. Um, she is the uh, lead studio tech here, here at After Hours. She is also a customer service representative yeah. for LEQ during the day. Yes. So I we am. left here <laughs> about 5.15, 5.30, we came yeah. back at 6.15. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've been here all day. All day. It's been great. Um, so, cousin, yes. What are we doing today? What are we working today on today? We are working on the spider web. The spider web sensor. Spider web. Um, super excited about that yes. as well. Uh, there's tons of ideas in the spider so web sensor. So many ideas. So many ideas. Oh she was goodness. she was going through the book. Tell them about tell them about going through the I book. I went through this book and it just has so many ideas in it. And then you could just add more ideas and you could add circles and just different shapes and everything. I don't even know what so the names excited. of them are, Let's but be real. I just love it. She, yeah, she's having a good time. She's liking it. Um, but, you know, I think it's just been, it's just a little strange not having Diana here today. It is. Honestly. No, it really like, I love been. having you on oh, the no, set with me right now. Yeah, but um, I'd rather, you know. It's just, I know, she likes her. being behind the camera. <laughs> Um, but it is, oh, look at her commenting. Hey. Hi, Mom. She's in Destin, Florida right now. Um, I her life. I know, living her best <laughs> life. It's great. Um, but always remember, before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. So right down there at the button. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. You'll get there. I'll get <laughs> she there went one left, day. Right. <laughs> okay. One day. Right down there at the bottom right-hand corner. After you click on that subscribe button, make sure you click on the little bell that shows up so you can get notified whenever ding. we've, ding, ding. <laughs> Whenever we post new videos or whenever we go live here at After Hours. So, Summer, yes. you know how extra your aunt is. We're I talking do. about Diana. Yes. Purple hair. Anyway, it's another story. Oh, yes. Purple hair. <laughs> it's hard to imagine her without purple hair now. I, like, we were looking really through old has, photos the other day, and I was, I was like, like, who is she? I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my mom. <laughs> and um, she decided to send y'all a quick, a quick little video clip from the beach to say hello. So let's check in with Diana at Destin, Florida to see what she is. Hey everyone, as you can see, I am not there with Corey this week. I decided to take a couple days away, take a break, just get a breather here in beautiful Destin, Florida. The beaches are amazing if you've never been here. Oh my goodness, it's a little crowded, but the beaches are so cool. Anyway, I am staying safe. You guys have fun learning the stencil, the spider stencil from Corey. I know he's been doing a great job and have lots of fun ideas and I can't wait to watch it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Must be nice. Let me tell you, really? living her best life on the beach. Blowing. You saw the waves. The, yeah. You saw the waves going. You hear it she in was the background. A, you saw it. She, psh, me right to sleep. <laughs> Ch -ch we can't be sleeping. <laughs> um, but thank you, Mom, for checking in with us. Uh, yes. We will see you next week. We are super excited so for you to come to back. See you. But very, very much well deserved vacation. Yes. Um, so have a great time and stay safe while you're yes. there. Alrighty, so we are looking at spiderweb stencil tonight. Yes. And I'm excited. So I'm going to head back to the machine to okay. kind of give them an idea of the stencil in the book. And then we'll come back up and we'll start drawing out some ideas. Perfect. Okay, I'm let's so do excited. it. excited. So over here at the machine, we have a couple of different blocks stitched out for you today. We're going to stray away from just using a square one this week. We're starting out with square, but we're going to move through a couple of different shapes to show you how to use these stencils a little bit more effectively in your quilting. So we're going to be working with the spiderweb stencil today. Kind of looks a little bit like the basic eight, just has a lot more lines to it. So this is stencil N is in Nancy, A is an Apple, 2185. So we're using the spiderweb stencil. And then we're also pairing it with the spiderweb sketchbook today um, that has tons of different ideas that we won't even be able to touch on today. But so many different ideas to work on and work from. And Summer is up first today. So I know she is so excited about this. I am, I am. A little nervous. A little, a little nervous. nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't no be reason nervous. to be nervous. Okay. Um, actually, before we even do that, we didn't even do what Diana loves to do. Totally just breezed we right really by did. it. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. She, 
she's gonna knock us out. She really we're gonna is. get fired when I she gets back. She's Honestly, gonna fire us. we're fired when she gets back. <laughs> Um, so, what our question is for this evening is, cousin. The question of the day is, what is your newest project that you're working on? That's a good question. Yes, I like I've that heard one. so many people telling me about new projects that they're working on, new threads and everything. So I just really want to know what everybody's working on. I think that's a really good question. I like that one. Really cool. Yeah, I like that one for sure. I'm trying to get camera set back up again. That was it. Did a weird thing on us. It's still doing a weird thing on us. Okay, so cousin, you want to check out um, some ideas? Oh, you can stay right here. Oh, no, yes. you're trying to head behind the no. your head behind the camera again. You can't do that. No, I can't. Sorry, sorry, everyone. She's good. She's good. She's trying to stay on portrait. I don't know why. Hold on. Um, so while you're looking, um, you want to check out some of the answers to see what people are working on. Yes, I do. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, there it goes. That's weird. Don't have any answers yet. They'll be coming through. Oh, we got one right Ooh. there, right down at the bottom. Oh, a quilted travel bag. Oh, I like Ooh, that idea. I really like that idea. A quilted idea. travel bag. I kind of need one of those. Cousin, get on that. I, get on that. <laughs> right on that. Get right on it. Get right as on it. As much as I know. <laughs> uh, tote bags, a carpenter star. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Bunch of different projects. Uh, finishing a quilt with some cowboy, cowboy boots. boots. Oh, I love cowboy boots. I know. She has a thing for cowboy boots. It's a I thing. Do. Making masks for a local store here in yes. Panama. That's amazing. We, we love, love that. that. Love to yes. hear that. Um, so, while we're still throwing in those answers of mm -hmm. what you are working on, Summer, let's go ahead and start with okay. your first idea tonight. So, my first idea is on page three of the spider web book. Okay. Let's give them a look of what we're looking at. Yes. Oh, so I like the points. Like this. Love that. Love the flowers. And it has my little start up here. Shows me my arrows. I'm a very much of a beginner, so this seemed really easy for me to start with. <laughs> what do you call yourself when it comes to this? I call myself an embryo. She calls herself an embryo to yes. quilting. <laughs> yes, because, um, yeah, I've never done it. I mean, I did it four years ago, but... So this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so much fun, you guys. All right, so we're going to be starting at the upper left-hand corner. Yes, I just wanted to make my little dots. Oh, I like your dots. So okay. I put my little dots because I learned that the bigger part of the flower goes on the dots. So it just seemed easier to put the dots there and give me some markers. Okay. And so you start up here and you go down to the point. Uh -huh. And then you'll go back up and hit that point. Uh -huh. And you go down, point, and up. So it helps a lot when you say kind of point to yourself. It kind of yes. helps you pause in that section. It goes me to the, my point that I need to go to. Right. And then I think about going down, hit that point again, and go back up. And I'm kind of just following the lines as well that are in the spider web to get my petals curved going up. Like that. Love it. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love it. And then you just repeat it. Yeah, I'm going to that way all the way around. Yep. I absolutely love that. I love seeing that. I love seeing all the projects that everybody is working on in the comment Ooh, section. Looks projects. like y'all are having a blast with what you're working on. Love Doing birth that. announcement quilts and Ooh. oh, the dream big ethereality. You <gasps> love that one. It's my favorite. I know. You love the ethereality. It's a beautiful So thing. many colors, so many different directions. It's just. It's all Amazing. over the place. It's beautiful. Okay. So you're going to do that all the yeah, way around? Yeah, I'm going to do it all the way around. Just follow okay. those little spider web markers. Okay. Well, let's head over to the machine, and you get to do your first on-camera quilting assignment. Oh, this I is going to be fun. nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. Everybody here at After Hours loves it. Okay. Okay. So, show us what you got. So, the first block that we have here is a square. Uh-huh. And then here is the stencil. And I remember from you guys talking, you always have to put the label down. Do you know why you put the label down? Because of the different surfaces. Correct. Yeah, so on the back side of it with label down, it has a different, a little bit more of a ridge, so you can feel it. You rub your finger, feel how it pops oh, up a yeah, little bit more. Yeah. So it grabs that chalk and out of the bit. piece and puts it down easier. Perfect. So we're using the pounce powder. Yes. All right, so we're making sure that our stencil is lining up on the four corners of our square. Here. Right there, right there. there. So you're looking at those outer four ones, and then she's going to take her pounce powder, okay. give a nice little hit. Yeah, so I was supposed to say, I know you guys hit it, right? Right on the bottom piece. Oh, yeah. bottom piece. So you're going to turn it this way and hit it like, like that. Oh, yeah. this way. Yep. That's 
happy beginner I am, you guys. Hey, that's fine. Okay, and then you pick it up this way? Yep, just Ooh. like that. Oh, chalky. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> okay, and then we hold it. Uh huh. And you guys say you lightly. Oh, that's not lightly. That's light. Okay. That's fine. That works. Okay. My little embryo. You're going to see it all the chalk comes up. <laughs> Take that. Oh, wow. Perfect. A lot darker than you guys ever do. That's, that's okay. okay. That's, that's fine. fine. Alrighty. Everything's fine. Everything's We're fine. fine. We're great. <laughs> We're living. We love life. Okay. And so then you start from up here. Cousin, you know I don't um, actually know anything on this machine. <laughs> Buttons or anything. So. It's all right. It's all right. It is all right. So this is great. Okay. So when we're wanting to pull up our bobbin thread, we'll start at the top left. Okay. And I want you to use the A button on the machine. A button. Yep. And take a single stitch. There you Ooh. go. Okay. Power. And then grab. <laughs> yeah. And then grab both sides of the thread with both hands. So grab, okay. grab a thread. Okay. And then grab it right there as well. Okay. Yep. So you're gonna kind of hold it like this, okay. like that. Yep. And swoop underneath the foot. Swoop underneath the foot. Yeah. So you're gonna grab it just here. I'll show you. You're gonna grab it just like that. Okay. And swoop underneath the foot. Like that. Oh, I see. Yep. So we can pull up that thread. And okay. you'll take a few more single stitches while you hold those threads. Okay. A lot of multitasking yes, and quilting. I see. Whew, you guys are good at this if you do this all day. <laughs> so a few single stitches. Okay. Okay. And then you can press the letter C or the letter D to get started. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from there, you got it. Do you want to mark it out with your chalk pencil, maybe? Give yourself kind um, of an idea? Yeah, let's kay. go ahead and do that. Okay. Let me. So I'm just going to push that machine back there. Perfect. Okay. There you go. And start from up here. Uh huh. Go down. Yeah, we love a good chalk pencil here at After Hours. Go up. Yeah. And down. There you go. And hit your point, 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 point. Perfect. And go back. So that kind of gives you the idea all the way around. Yeah. So this would also look really cool. Let's also break this down to another thing. I didn't even think about this, but bam! Mm. Wow. This would also be great for a half square triangle. So if you're only using that triangle Ooh. piece, you could use that spider web stencil from the center and get all those pieces. Now you have a really okay. nice triangle design. That's very true. Right, I yeah. I have never thought about I didn't think that. about that, so go team. So many different shapes and everything. Yep. Okay. So then from there, you can start the machine up. There you go. And start to bring it towards you. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Oh my lord. <laughs> Hammer seat. Okay, no, that's okay. It's all right. There you go. There you go. Get the flow. There you go. Point. 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 There you go. Set your point. 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 Ooh, I'm going a little crazy. You got right this. Here. As you guys see, I am as beginner as it gets. You're doing a great job, though. Thank you. You're I welcome. love the support. I think anything beats my Christmas trees from a couple episodes ago. You know, I think this might beat your Christmas trees. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> Don't come at my Christmas trees, okay? Look at that. So come and say point. Point. There you go. So you slow down a little bit enough to point. get that point. I forget, you know, you could go slow. Yeah, you don't have to go super fast with it. Point. There you go. You know that really helps. It wow. does. It kind of helps you slow down a little bit. And look at those. Look how much sharper those points are when you yeah. do that. Wow. We need the power of word. <laughs> Point. 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 There you go, and you're going to go back up. up there and end. How do you stop? Same button. Same button. There you go. Okay. Look right there. Woo! Look at that. I love her. She's so cute. I think that's a cute flower. She is It's kind of flying in the wind. She is. She's everything and then some. <laughs> I love well, her. I mean, what, what do you guys think? Summer's first quilt in four years. Yeah, I think you did a great years. And what do you think about the stencil so far? I love the stencil. I mean, it's the help of those great. lines. Yeah, those lines are absolutely amazing, and especially that powder as well. Like, 
the fact that I was able to see everywhere that I was going and I was able to hit the point and hit the corners correctly, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that without the stencil. I think, yeah, you did an amazing job. So let's run over back to our camera over here, drawing station, and let's show them what you're working on next. Okay, my next one, it's gonna be on page 22. And 22 has two ideas on it, which are really cool and I would have never thought about. So the one I'm gonna do today is this little circle with the zigzags going every different direction which I think is really cool and just kind of looks like a sun to me, if you, we're being honest. And then just another cool idea at the bottom of the page is like the year they graduated and probably a bunch of friends and stuff like that, which I just oh, thought I was Oh, I love really that. Cute. A little bit of circle and kind of work it around like yeah. in a circular fashion. That's cute. Like you put on t-shirt quote or something For like that. For sure. Like just, you know. Love that. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. So this one doesn't have any arrows associated with it because it it's, it's a double page design. So you can start wherever you would like yes. and kind of work around however you'd like to go. Mm -hmm. Looking at the drawing itself, it looks like this is where the separation is. So that's probably what I would call your start point. Oh, right okay. there with the zigzag and start working towards it. Oh, I see. You're and so this smart. one, <laughs> and this one comes to a circle. So you can stop it at a circle, or you can go all the way into the center point. What do you want to mm -hmm. do? You can go all the way into the center. I might go all the way into the center. I was thinking about doing a little swirly in the circle, but I oh, think I'm going to do Oh, you want to do that? You want to do a swirly in a circle? Let's do a swirly. We have extra pieces. Let's do that one. Perfect. There you go. Cool. And we're turning it on point so you can get that same muscle memory since you're doing it in a diamond next. Don't know if you know that, but you're doing it in a diamond next. Oh, a lovely. Surprise. <laughs> Surprises are so much fun. Okay, so. We have our circle. I think I'm going to do the zigzags first. Okay. And then the last zigzag, I'll go into the circle. Sounds good. Seems like a smart idea. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna go this way. Oops. It's all right. The best part about this one is it doesn't really have to be anything in particular. Exactly, you know? I think that's what my favorite part is. Yep. And then from there, I think I'll just go down, up, down. Up. There you Down, go. Down, follow that little line that the stencil is going to give me, and then go the other direction. Oh, and then, you know, follow it down and up. And this is really good for the point. Point, point, point. And then you can just, what is that? Stitch in the ditch? There you go. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Although there's not a ditch to follow, but that's good. Yeah. Oh. But you have the true. same idea. But you have the same idea. I love that. If there was. She's been watching after hours. I have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the you correct stitching in the ditch. That's correct. Perfect. And then you just do this all the way around. And I think when I get back over here, uh -huh. I'll just go in a fun big circle. Awesome. Call it a day. I like it. Sound good? Okay. We'll head over to the machine. And for this, you're actually going to be, you're going to end up using two stencils then. Oh. Because you have to put that circle the in there circle to follow. Down. Yes. Yes. Ooh. So over at the machine, here she is. We are going to grab the spider web stencil first. Okay. Okay. Because this is going to help you find your center so you can also use your circle stencil. Ah, smart. Okay. Okay. So match up the corners. The corners. So we got the top corner, right? Oh, nope, one line. There we go. There we go. The biggest one. Yep, those, are long, those longer, longer outer ones. four that will match your corners okay, the best. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That's going to help you out. All righty. Oh, this way. Mm-hmm. Pat, pat. Mm-hmm. Got it. This pat, time. pat. <laughs> And if you all have any questions, any comments, anything like that, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. Yes. We are checking them as much as we can um, to get back with you. And hello to everyone that is watching from all over the world. Yes, hello, Love that. hello, hello. Okay, okay. so we've so got I that, did one. that one. Probably we'll move that. Over. Ooh, nothing wrong with that. That's okay. a good one. You're good. Now this one gives you the perfect circle. Or so, oh, excuse so me, I the perfect have, center to yeah. match your center point of your circle okay. stencil. So then I'll get that and go right there uh -huh. on the top. And I just want the little tiny one. Little tiny one in the to... center. Yeah, you don't need any other ones. So okay. grab your chalk again. Alrighty, I feel like I've padded enough. I'm gonna give you a little baby one. <laughs> Is that good enough? Oh, pull it up and see. 
I think it gives you a stopping point. Yeah, you I was can see say, that stopping I can point. see that circle, just the outline of it. I don't also really Also gives need. you the, uh, you can use your chalk pencil here to kind of give yourself another oh, yeah. rendition of it. There you go. There you go, something like that. Use Nothing too all, crazy. Use all your utensils, use all the products. All right. Okay. So then, let's grab the machine for you. Oh, yes. So you can pull it over and see what you want to work with. All right. Okay, let's see. I so remember. You started up here, didn't you? Yes. Yep. Start right. up here. Okay. So, so take a single stitch. A. Yep. And then you'll mm -hmm. grab both sides of your thread. Grab both sides of your thread and, and swoop underneath the foot. Perfect. Oh, look at her, my little embryo. Turn into a tadpole. A tadpole, not much. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So and single one. stitches, two, three. Beautiful. So Perfect. it's going to lock it down, and then okay. you can start stitching. You're going to be you're in regulated mode. Okay. Which is really nice. Regulated mode. What does that mean? So you have a stitch regulator on. So no matter how fast you slow, how fast or slow you go, to mm -hmm. an extent, you uh, the stitches will stay equidistant for you. Oh, beautiful. So I'm gonna start this way. There you go. There we go. Zigzag. Zigzags don't have to be straight. That's why we love zigzags. And then you go down, and back up. Really do the point. Point. And then I'm gonna go down again, just follow that line real close, and then do my other zigzags the other way. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I get scared sometimes. I went a little over myself, but that's okay. And go back down, and go the other way. Point, 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 point point and point. I love this. This is so much fun, cousin. Well, you were oh, doing Corey. a great Sorry, job. Sorry, I just call you cousin. <laughs> you what? I said I always call you cousin. I mean, yeah, I don't really even know your real name. Okay. You know, I'm really proud of myself. I think you're doing a great job. I think I am too. I see why people like to quilt all day now. Mm-hmm. I wish I could be over here all day. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can do your zigzags. Look at you, fancy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, almost went over my circle. That's okay. Just give it a little bit of definition. It's a design choice. There you go. I always feel like I have to rush, but I don't. Mm -mm. You can do, do your thing. That's the best part about it. Yeah. You can do so many fun stuff with this. I'm gonna go take over my mom's machine and quilt her. <laughs> oh, that's right. Your mother yeah. does have a machine. Yeah, she does. That's where I first quilted. Yeah. I made a little do uh, blanket for my dogs. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Of course, they don't care about it, so. Oh, it's cute though. There you go. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into my circle. Mm-hmm. And kind of go around at first, see if maybe I could connect everything. That seems like the right thing to do. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. And then when I get over here, I'll just start making my other part of my circle. Love I guess it. I could kind of follow those other little lines that are inside of it. For sure, yeah. You're talking but, about like each like dash mark? Yeah, yeah like you definitely could do that. Marks, yeah, that's really like cool. You just follow them inside and everything. And then you said you do that? Yep. There you go. Yay. Stunning. Yay. You look, it looks great. Oh, needle thank so you. We can see it. Oh, yes. You're good. Look at that. I like that wow. design. That's fancy. She's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> I can't with you. You're too much. All right. Well, I guess it's going to be, um, it's going to be my turn over here at the machine or at the machine. Goodness gracious, over here at the drawing pad. So, I guess I want to work with. I like I said, I'm working in different odd shapes this week. Um, they're all based off of a square in this book, but I'm working with a bunch of different 
odd shapes today. Um, Terry asked a question, if you have a pattern on the fabric, should you still use the chalk? Um, I always use the chalk anytime I'm doing any type of pattern work uh, or any type of fabric that I'm working on. It really still gives you that idea of where to go. Uh, that chalk always really helps you. The pounce powder, <clears throat> excuse me, always really helps you. And then, of course, your handy dandy chalk pencil. That always helps you as well. All right. So I'm on page 12 today in the Spiderweb book. And I'm going to be doing this one. Um, Summer says it looks like mustaches. It's really cute. Are you doing the mustache? I am doing a mustache one for you. Oh. Yes. Um, so this one has a circle uh, in the center to work from. So I could work from that, um, or I can kind of go into the center. I'm going to work straight from the center this time, just to bring all those together. Since I will be stitching this in an oval, I want to get as much space that I can out of it. So I'm going to actually start right here. This will be my starting point today. And I'm going to head this direction to start with kind of the first piece that I've got. So I'm going to head this way, and I'm going to go do 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 a little bit of an arc to here. And then I'm going to come out with a swirl, head over here, swirl, back out. I'm going to head over to this direction, same thing with the swirl. So head over here, swirl, back out, come in with that arc again to that wow. little point. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you all. Um, you can also make these a little bit wider if you'd like to, to really extend the size. Um, because normally with that circle, they're a little wider right here, but I went all the way to the point. So it's completely up to you, whatever you want to do. So with that now being said, we're going to come up to here. Arc it in. Oh, that's a skinny one. He's crazy. See, cousin, I'm taking some of your terminology. There you go. <laughs> Coming in with this one. Coming over here. Oh, this is going to be great doing this upside down. I have another oh, tree you're situation. Be so good. I have another tree situation. <laughs> I love right your there. trees. <laughs> Thank you. That, makes me, <laughs> that makes me feel great. We love your trees. Yeah, those trees were something. All right, so I'll come over here. Do this. And go this way. Ding. Come over here. Get on the side of the camera. Come over here. Oh, gosh. Ooh, there you go. You got it. You got it. There, there you go. go. And up. And then we'll come down the center sign. Come over. Just like that. So we're going to be squeezing this into an oval today. So let's see what I can do on the pad of the machine over here. So I've got my simple oval here. Now we know we sometimes we always have those odd shapes so we don't really know what to put in. So using some of these stencils it really allows you to kind of think outside the box and kind of squish the design to fit in those pieces. So I've got my oval. I'm going to grab my spiderweb stencil. And this is going to be eyeing where the center of this oval is. If you'd like to kind of guesstimate it with your um, chalk pencil, you could definitely do that. So I'm going to grab my chalk pencil real quick. And I can make a straight line right through this piece. I can kind of guess and say, eh, it looks about straight to me, give or take. So I can chalk right through that to find my center there. And also find the center here which, like I said, is another guesstimate to kind of see. Eh, it looks about center to me, give or take. A little off to the right, but not too bad. So I can place the center of my stencil then at that center line mark that I made with my chalk pencil. Right there. Center that up, just like so. And then I can take my chalk, kind of pounce it a little bit, Oh, you gave it a good pound. <laughs> gave it a little bit of a tap tap. And then I'm going to hold it and lightly brush over. And it's going to give me that design. So right through it, still being able to use that spiderweb stencil. Okay. And we're going to be starting in our center point. And whatever direction you want to work from, we're going to head this way. So these are going to be much longer um, uh, pieces, a lot uh, longer strides for this. And some of the, and the other ones will be a little fatter. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Gives a completely different look. So we're going to start here. Pull up our thread. Do some single stitches. And let's see what I can do. So I'm going to 
take this and start our machine up and let's see oh gosh i'm nervous cousin why are you nervous because i've never done it not in a block <laughs> so we'll we widen it out new things. i'll open this up same thing in this direction uh oh that was a little bit of a wider one. Oh, she's pretty <laughs> uh, I, w I went to one line and I needed to be on that one. That's okay. That's fine. We're That's fine. Everything's fine. Fun. Life's I great. I love it, actually. The design choice. I'm so happy Rita said that one episode. <laughs> it's a design <laughs> choice. I use that for everything now. Everything in my life. It's a design choice. I forgot groceries at the store. It was a design choice. It was a design choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want the pantry to be fully stocked. It was a design choice. It's here into the center. Move I'm that out the way. Some food for some other people. Exactly. Your mustaches are absolutely amazing. See, I always need you here. <laughs> always bumping up my confidence. I mean, my mom does it too, but it's fun with my cousin. Always fun with cousin. Always fun with cousin. We did have a question come in. Sure, said, what's up? Where can I buy the book or stencil? Do you want to answer that? Yes, you could buy it on our website, which is www.longarmsupplies.net. Awesome. And they're under the Pam Clark uh, des uh, Design with Lines stencils yes. inbox. Not too bad, actually. Um, not bad at all. I kind of like uh, that. I kind of love it. I'm kind of proud of myself. Good I team. I think it's amazing. I think that's cute. You I can also see a girl with like hair. You kind of see the curl. You right. Yeah. Like right here. Yeah. I see. Oh, you're so smart. I need you around all the time. Um, I think that's so cool. I would have never thought to. Yeah, you know, I, I was sitting here and I was thinking, what else can I do? to kind of switch it up. And I love just being able to kind of throw something in a different type of shape or different um, design and go from there. OK, so next one that I'm working on tonight is going to be the circle one. And this is by far one of the ones that have been a little interesting in my mind to do. So this is the circle one that I'm going to be doing. Now, it's all based out of a block, but we're going to kind of make it work for our overall circle that we have. So I've got a starting point right about here that I can work from to start kind of pulling from and working with. So I am going to start with my initial um, kind of a block on point with curves around it. And then I can start making my way around to do all these extra pieces. So we're going to see how this one goes. So I'm going to find a, way, a point about midway out, right about here. Uh, find another one right about here. If you wanted to count those dash marks to make sure that it's perfectly square, you can do that as well. Another one right here, and then another one right there. That one's way too high. My OCD's kicking in. All right, there we go. All right, so I can start here. S for start, and I'm going to curve in, get close to that center point. So curve in, touch that one. Curve in, touch that one. Uh-oh. Curve in. Touch that one, curve in and touch that one. Then we're going to head over. I'm going to mark more center points. So I'll use this as a center point, this as a center point, this as a center point, and this as a center point. I'm going to curve out to this one. So I'm going to head this direction and go whoop, curve right there. And then I am going to figure out however I'd like to put these around, you can do it. I'm going to do this way first. So I'll do a little bit of a oval here and an oval there. Kind of take that in, and then I'm going to go this direction, so this way, this way, a little bit of a peacock feather there, mm. this way, this way, and then I'm going to head up, oh, not too far out, I was too busy looking at the camera, that way a little bit of a curly Q if you'd like to do that, I love a curly Q heart, I think it adds just a little bit more definition, just like that, come down a little bit and you'll head out back to this point, it's the point, and then you'll come up with that curly Q heart again. Curly Q heart, curly Q heart, just like that. Head over to your center point here and start the process again. Nice. So I, the, uh, the reason I thought about putting this in a circle is because this kind of just has that overall circular flow yeah. with it. So I was like, oh, let's see what this will look, look like. It will look good in a circle. Yeah. So let's see what that's going to look like um, over here at my circle. So here's another fun one. All right, so this is another good use um, for your circle stencil. 
So I have got a 9 inch circle right here. So say we have a 9 inch circle on the quilt. I have a 9 inch stencil that I can work with. Uh, I've got one right under there just to kind of match those lines up to give myself some type of center point. So I'm matching those lines up with the stitching and then I'm going to take my pounce powder or I can take my pencil, mark in there, gives myself a center point to start from. I'll lay my spiderweb stencil down, make sure my center points match. I've got label down on the fabric, making sure those center points match. Come in with my chalk. I'm going to chalk this around. Just like that. Oh, this is already looking exciting. Ooh. Okay. And so for this one, remember, on our outer ones, so this would be an outer one, and I'll even write outer. Probably my outer four. Your, your north, south, east, west, that could help too. Okay. On these, we're going to want to find those four points to make that curve um, inside circle. So because I have OCD, I've got one, two, three, four, five, let's go with in between six. So that would be my curve point there. One, two, three, four, five, in between six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, in between six and seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, in between six and seven. Okay. We also have those same ones going out on our diagonal uh, points. So I'm just going to do the same points again. One, two, three, four, five, six, in between six and seven. In between six and seven, I know you all know how to count, but I've got to count it out too. One, two, three, four, five, six there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six in between six and seven right there. So it's going to give me all my points. So I want to start right here, so I'll put an S, and I'm going to chalk this out real quick so I have the kind of idea that I want to head. So first thing I'm going, I'm going from west to north east to south and then back to west with my curve. So coming in with a nice curve, so whoop, up to there. Curve down to the east, curve down to the south, curve down to the west, mm. just like that. So good starting point there. And then we're going to come from here, we're gonna curve up to here, and this is where we'll start our fun ovals and whatnot, just like that. Do, do. And this is where we can come up with our curly cues of a heart. Down. Curly cues of a heart. I love have, having guidelines to stay in. Oh my goodness. This really yes. helps. It's so much easier. And then curve up to here. You know how big you can go or how small you Honestly, can Honestly, you know where your stopping point is. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I think that's going to look so cool in this circle. It is. Okay. All right, now I'm excited. I was nervous earlier, but now I'm excited. You should be always excited, cousin, because you are great at this. <laughs> the confidence builder. <laughs> Everybody get them a cousin, okay? <laughs> get them a cousin. All right, so I'm going to tie this off. I'm going to stitch a little bit up, and I'll stop there. I want to go ahead and cut my threads so they're out of the way, because I know I'm going to be coming back to that very shortly. So I'll take this machine, and we're starting with that little piece in here first using our chalk pencil line just as an idea to follow. Coming up here. Coming with our little bit of our peacock feather over here. Over around with our curly cue. Over around with our curly cue. Drop down a little bit, curve over. This is just a curly cue on its own. On its own. All right, so here we go. We're curving over to here, and this is where we will start our lower ovals. And then we can come up with our peacock feathers, little droplets actually. And then we'll come in with our curly cue, curly cue, drop down into the center between the um, drop oval and our little double oval or peacock little oval here to exit out of that to go to our next point there. Yep. Ooh, we got a question in. What's up? They said, how do you use your stencil with the pounce pad if you have a lot of white in your top? Good, really good question. So the, um, I can't, I can't multitask. This is gonna 
throw me off if I try to multitask this. OK. Um, so the pounce powder also comes in a couple of different colors. So we have white, we have blue, and then we have pink. Yes. So there's a bunch of different colors that you can choose from to um, get that same idea. Really good question. Really good question. So here, oh gosh, cousin, this is going to be upside down. You can do oh, it. Oh gosh, cousin. I know you can. Just think it through. Think it through. Think it through. <laughs> You're doing the curly cue, you're going back, do another one, and go back. Okay, drop and down out of it, come yeah. over, and curly cue's upside down. There you go. Gotta mm. talk it through. Can you stay up here all the time when I quilt? <laughs> of course. She said, sure. <laughs> she loves it. So then we're back here again. So this is gonna be where we're drop down, oval, oval, double oval. Do a bigger one there. Come here and do a curly cue. Come over here and do a curly cue. Drop down. Come over. Wow. It is coming out amazing, you guys. Just like that. Oh! <gasps> so excited. Oh my goodness. I like this a lot. That's so pretty. I need you to put that onto a quilt or something for me. A little piece that I can a hang up. A little piece you can hang up? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that turned out really cool. It did. Um, it, shrinking it down and kind of pushing it into a block. It honestly gives it a completely different look, y'all. Because we have this kind of curve here. These kind of look like these orange peels. And now we've turned it basically into another circle within itself. So it's an outer circle. Then you kind of have that inner circle. I've just... I'm, I'm very impressed with myself, I have to say. I'm going to have to give myself <laughs> this one. Thank you, cousin, for the support. Of course, of course. All right, our last one of the evening. This is going to be a little bit of a, you know, just a nice simple one to, to pull out the evening. So we are going to be looking at using an octagon now. So I'm going to be working with an octagon um, shape that's, you know, kind of already on the quilt or something that you just kind of pounced out or, you know, however you want to work it. Um, now remember, all these are based off of squares, so this one is actually an eight-pointed design, and I'm going to be actually be able to pull out all of these points to every single of the eight points of the octagon, which I think is pretty nifty, and it's going to give this a completely different look. So let's see how this one's going to work. So we're going to start with our four outer pieces, so I'll, name, I'll put these as O's for outer, and we're starting a little bit closer pull this back over here so you can see it. Starting to kind of have that circle in the center again. That's kind of a, a working trend with the designs that we've chosen this evening. So let's kind of come out here a little bit. And this is another time that you can count if you would like to um, and work your way around those pieces just so you kind of know where that circle needs to more or less start and stop. So I'll put my dots kind of all the way around. If you have the circle stencil, you can also pounce that in as well, which I actually I might do. So I have a, a full blown circle to work from. So I'm going to be starting right here. So I'll name this my start. And I'm going to take this and head all the way up to an outer point. And then I'm going to come all the way back. And I'm going to be making it to this point over here. So I'll head all the way back over here. And then I'm going to jump all the way out to here. This point. You're really hitting the four corners of the square. Correct. Yeah, that's kind of the goal. And at this point, it'd be part of the octagon for what we're doing. Oh, yes, yes. Very so true. here, and then back to start. And then we're going to backtrack a little bit, coming this way, to get to our second start point. So this one would be the north, south, east, west, basically, mm -hmm. of what we're working on here. So come to there, and then we're going to come over to that point, come over to this point, come down to that point that point, and then that point. And then from there, we'll do a little bit of overstitching there, touch all of these points to make that perfect circle, and then swirl in, and swirl back out. Oh, that looks so nice. Just like that. Something really simple, something really fast to throw in those octagons, and I'm kind of excited to try this one, this too. This is going to be so easy. Um, so let's head over to the machine. This is fun. Okay, so over here at the machine, and I've got that octagon already out, already stitched out. Let's say we have a block or so, we can already have that down. And I'm going to take my spiderweb stencil and match these points 
up with our line. So I have something that's point, point, point. Just kind of have, might have to rotate it here and there to place it exactly where it needs to be. So I'll place that one down, give it a chalk. A little pat pat. A little pat pat. Chalk over that. Just like so. And then so I have a little circle to work from. I'm going to use the smallest circle in this one, my three inch circle, and chalk around that. Just so I have that center one that I can uh, get to if I need it. So those are those points that I need to follow. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those out. So I'll be coming here. So this is a one where I'm going to be starting. So I'll be my start point. And then I'm going to be having a point here, a point here, a point here, a point here, a point here. I'm skipping every other line. And a point there. Awesome. So then I can take my machine head. I'm going to make a stitch here, single stitch, pull up our threads, and so this one's going to be a little different from what I'm working with, and that's okay. But the point that I'm going to be headed to, these will be my outer corners at this point. So I'll circle these for outer so I know where I'm headed. This will be my outer ones. I know where I'm headed. Smart. Yeah, that way I don't get tripped up because that's not that hard to get tripped up with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll start it up and I'm going to give it a nice little arc out to that point and it'll come down to this point. I'm going to arc out to this point, to this one, arc out to this one. Oh, missed that one a little bit, that's all right. That's to okay. this one. Move my threads out of the points way. points that were missed over on this side. <laughs> Move that out of the way. There we go. So run over my threads. And then up to that one. Okay. Back down. Use a little bit of that circle to get to this point. And then we're going to head up here. And then I'm going to head from that section. I've got to look at going to my point right here. Okay, as I'm working around. So then I'm going to come down to this point. Point. So I marked all these out ahead of time so I wouldn't be freaking out trying oh, to yeah. figure out exactly where and I need to really go. That's smart because then you could just see all the points that you have to go to. Right. Which is a very good guideline. So there, and we're going to use our circle to kind of touch those points all together. And then you can swirl it in. Damn. Just like that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. And I love that it's in the octagon. Yeah, I love that it ended up in the octagon. It worked just absolutely perfectly and hit those points a little differently than we thought it actually would. Because you could turn it and you could start your points over here and start going to every single one of those points. But I like the way it filled up this octagon and gave it just a little bit of that negative space where those points are. Kind of makes your eye look at it a little differently. And if That's you wanted sure. to, you could always um, go on the outer corners and just add little designs. That would be really for fun. For sure. So something out here in the corner, you could just add maybe some background design. Yeah. Um, some filler to kind of separate it. pop a lot more. I think we should try that real quick. I think we've got time. We have time, right, Cousin? Yeah, of course. Always. I think I think they want to see that. Do y'all want to see that? I was going to say, I'm sure they want to see that. I think they want to see that. So this would be kind of our rendition of um, the background book that we did. Ooh. So we did background designs and fills. So in this outer section, I can just do a simple ribbon candy. Nothing too crazy. Ribbon candy, is that just like up and down? Basically, kind of okay. like curves. I also heard you say peacock the, uh, earlier. Uh, so just having those multiple pieces Got in it. I love all the different names that they have. Oh, things. so many different names <laughs> yeah. for things in this industry. kind of doing and you could do this a much tighter design as well I'm doing this a little bit more open but you could definitely do it as you know as tight or as open as you would like it to be that is looking so good
just like that. Oh Wait. my goodness! Think about that, cousin. Pop. Oh yeah, it's kind of nifty. And it matches your little swirl that you have in the middle. You For got sure. Your little soft lines oh, look going at that. Over there. Good there old consistency. Go. Yes, yes. Love yes. that. Absolutely love it. Um, so I think that has been super fun. What did you, so what did you think okay, as your I first got, after hours experience? Say, Let's talk. I had so much fun. I was really nervous getting in here. Oh, she was. She was like I about was to like, have anxiety attack. Anxiety. I can't do this cousin. No, no, no. I can't do it anymore. But then, you know, I got started. I was like, oh, I could draw. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. You know, race it, do whatever All about muscle did. memory. Yes, muscle but memory. It's really like, what it it's is. It's just, you know, getting your wrist to do that little curve and the other little curves that are all the curly sure. cues and the curly everything. Cu the curly cues. Yeah. But then you just kind of transfer that to your machine, for your long arm machine. Yeah. Or if you're doing sit-down quilting at a domestic machine, you kind of just move that to the same idea. Which Maybe I just him. learned was a thing, which was the original way of quilting. Right, back in the which day. Which is what I learned, but yeah. I've always just known long arm, which is so okay, little bit. I know. She's I'm, learning so I'm much. I'm learning a lot. My little guppy. brain. <laughs> just tadpole. You're just moving up. Slowly. Slowly. So. Slowly. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the spiderweb stencil and sketchbook as yes. much as we did. Um, always remember that you can, uh oh, where am I at? There we go. Always remember that you can find all of our uh, books, stencils, templates, everything, everything at longarmsupplies.net. So yes. you've got that link Ooh, right here yes, below. Right here. And then also, um, we do have the book promo code for the books, yes. not the kits, not the stencils themselves, but the books. 20% off if you use After Hours mm. LEQ. Mm. Oh, so we love Get a that. little deal. Yes, we love, we love a good deal. We, love love, a we good like balling on a budget here. Mm -hmm. um, so shopping. thank you so much again for joining us. Next week, Next week. Diana will be back. She will be. So I think I'll be back over there. I think you still need to make a guest appearance every now and then. I can do that. I think you need to be. Y'all loved Cousin, right? I loved Cousin. I'll do cousin a block every now and then. Every now and then? Yeah, cool. I'll go in there. Um, next week, we're going to look at Basic 8. Ooh. We've talked a lot about the Basic 8 stencil. Yes, uh, and it a use lot. so much can use it so many different all the time. things, mm -hmm. which I had no clue, obviously. <laughs> She's learning so much. I love it. Um, and this is going to be the Basic 8. We're doing book 1 and 2. So mm. that's in one book. So book 1 and 2 is actually in one Ooh. little piece for you. So we'll be looking at all the different design ideas you can use with just the simple basic eight stencil. Which I looks like a lot just based off of the cover. Of oh, there's so many different yeah. things. I mean, this is like, tons of, oh, I just found what I want to do. Look. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> um, well, cousin, thank you so much for joining of me this course. week. I really thank appreciate you for it. Thank you having me. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. All right, well, I will have to dismiss you off the set. Bye, I know. Guys. You did a great job. I loved it. She did an amazing job. What'd y'all think? I just absolutely just love what she was able to bring to um, the studio this week. And thank you guys all so much for joining us. Diana, I hope you are having a blast down in Destin, Florida. Um, hang out at the beach a little bit extra for me. Um, we will be here, uh, like we said, longarmsupplies.net where you can get everything. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and we'll see you next week. Bye.